Hello there. Now, recently I've been building a lot of custom vehicles, a lot of dioramas, even the odd mech, but this video goes back to my old way of making customs, and that is minifigure customs. I feel like I haven't done a minifigure custom video in forever, and recently with X-Men 97 just coming out, I thought that I'd create a full team of X-Men without using any of their actual minifigure parts. So as you can see, LEGO have made their fair share of really cool X-Men characters, but today we're going to be trying to make our own. And of course, there are some minifigures that LEGO haven't yet attempted to make. So I'll keep these here for the standard that LEGO hold. And we'll introduce our first custom, which you've already seen. I will be glossing over this because it was featured in a few videos. I've already even made a mech for this character. It is, of course, Rogue which does use Wolverine's torso piece and the hair piece from Narcissa Malfoy with some green arms, green legs. And though Legos is definitely an upgrade to this one, if you don't want to pick up the new X-Men jet, this is the easiest way of getting it, especially because the Wolverines were so common in the Marvel CMF. I'm sure you can pick up a torso for relatively cheap. Now, the next minifigure we have to join our X-Men team is of course Cyclops but there is one upgrade I want to make to Cyclops because this is the minifigure that we had and it does use Wolverine's head which has the sideburns and doesn't really look like Cyclops so I managed to pick up this Ninjago magazine here which comes with this poly bag and you can already see what I'm thinking this headpiece would be amazing for Cyclops so I am going to pour out the poly bag. I won't be building it as we only need the heady so we can move the rest of the stuff to the side. And as you can see, it does look like Cyclops little glasses. I guess they are. They're like one eyed glasses. It does come with an alternate angry expression, but we do want this more serious look for Cyclops. And though it is a yellow head, I do think we can look past it just for the sake of that goggle there. Perhaps... Cyclops is wearing some sort of yellow hood over his face, but I really do like this Cyclops piece, and I did pick the magazine up just for that. It did have a giant poster, which was pretty cool, but we're not quite done with Cyclops, as I've tried to give all these minifigures some sort of weapon that relates to their ability. Now, for some of them, it is impossible, but for Rogue, we do have her flying because she's able to fly in the show. And for Cyclops, I am going to give him this red flick fire missile, which will represent him shooting lasers out of his eyes. And if we turn his head to the side, it does actually line up and make him look like he's activated his goggles. So, of course, we now have Cyclops and recreating one of the X-Men we have behind us here. So I'll bring her forward. We do have Storm. Now, there is no hairpiece Lego have created that looks anywhere near as good as the one they used for Storm. And there's not actually too many white hair pieces. So we're going to take the white hair piece from the same Ninjago poly bag and whack that on top. It really doesn't look anywhere near Legos, but I think it is the best hair piece we can use beside it. And I've used Luke's torso spun around so that Storm still has the belt across her torso, but she's in the all white with those Palpatine lightning strikes, which I understand why Lego picked yellow for the show, but I'm pretty sure lightning's meant to be more of this color. So I think the minifigure does look pretty decent, but as with any of the minifigures that Lego have already made, we're not going to get anywhere close. And I would like to see a few more X-Men characters. I mean, we might even get some from the show. One that I'd really like Lego to do is Gambit, who is my favorite from this entire video. I really like the way I was able to use the Sand Trooper head to represent Gambit's face coming out of his black hood. And then he's got his hair popping out of the top because you've got that black stripe going between them. And then we have his purple torso, which is actually Hawkeye's from the CMF series, the same one that these X-Men actually came from. We've got him holding a playing card glowing bright red and we've also got his staff. And this jacket piece I've used is actually one of the old ones sold on Firestar. Don't forget to use my code in the description if you would like to place an order. 
They do currently have one in stock though. This is not that one. This is one of their older ones that they no longer sell. So I don't exactly know if it's the same shade as this one, but I'm sure it will still do the trick for a custom Gambit. I really do like that minifigure. Now, the next minifigure we have is Morph, who has right now changed himself to look like the Professor, but I'm not going to pull any cheap tricks like Mystique in my last X-Men custom video. We do actually have a proper Morph minifigure here. I've used the Death Trooper head from the Clone Wars series and pretty much the rest of Wolverine's outfit, even though, much like Cyclops, the legs should technically be inverted with the yellow replacing the blue and vice versa. But Morph does look closer to Wolverine than any of the other X-Men, so it made sense to just include the Wolverine torso and legs, give him blue arms for the longer sleeves, and give him the yellow gloves he wears, as well as that Death Trooper head. I tried a few, and there were a few that looked quite close to this, but I think this is my favourite out of the bunch, and represents Morph pretty well. Now... We have one more minifigure before we go to the cursed side of this video as not all of these minifigures are able to be made as nicely as each other without using some of their custom designed parts by LEGO. I mean, after all, there's a reason LEGO print pieces based on the minifigures rather than just letting us make our own. But first off, we do have Bishop who looks really cool. I really, really wish I'd picked up, I think it was the Snow Trooper, it weren't quite a battle pack, but add-on packs of minifigures, so we've gone with Grief Cargo's head and hair, so this is more of an Apollo Creed meets Rambo minifigure, and likewise with Cyclops to get the similar torso, use the blue Ninjago torso, the very first, I believe, Ninjago torsos, and then just got the long blue trouser legs with the yellow waistband, which looks really cool. Of course, we had to give him a blaster to represent the gun he has just over his left hand shoulder. I'm not quite sure if he's left or right handed, he does seem to be firing in both, so perhaps he's ambidextrous, but as the sachet is over his left hand shoulder, it makes sense for him to be holding it in his left hand. As I said, I'm trying to give them all the weapons here that they can. And of course, the red bandana around his neck. I guess Morph's weapon was the fact that he could change into anyone such as Charles Xavier. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, do leave a like and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out more awesome LEGO content, unlike the first of our cursed minifigures, which is Jubilee. Now, Jubilee has some pyrotechnics you can shoot out of her hands which is why the fire blasts have been used here it's not quite fire but i think it is close enough and does the trick for the minifigure as for the rest of the minifigure i have definitely done the best i can with the pieces i had but we've used patrick's pirate legs from spongebob i think it was the flying dutchman set to represent the dark blue shorts with her legs sticking out it is torn at the bottom but I'm pretty sure this is the closest Lego have when it comes to existing pieces with dark blue shorts. And then I wasn't able to find any jacket pieces or even any torsos that match the pink colour of Jubilee's top. So we've closed up her jacket and just gone with the full block yellow on top, which you could even nab from the SpongeBob that comes in the same pirate set. And then for the face... I don't really have too many female faces. A lot of them are on Stormtroopers I've got. So I'm definitely happy LEGO are customising Troopers faces a lot more than they used to. With the Angry Trooper face, which you can actually see here on Charles Xavier. But for the face, I've taken this from the Friends set. This is actually Phoebe's mannequin painting that she did, which was some 3D art, which... Definitely looks interesting. The eyes aren't fully printed like normal minifigure eyes. They're sort of greyed out to match the art style. But I think the expression does match Jubilee's from the show. And as she does have the reddish glasses holding back her hair, I thought this hair wasn't too far off her hair. And it is from the Monkey Kid poly bag when Monkey Kid was introduced. And though the bandana does go the whole way around, from the front, if you could imagine them as glasses, I don't think this is too bad. This is definitely the better of the four cursed minifigures as the next one we go on to is Jean Grey. Now, this isn't too bad. I mean, we've got the yellow legs. I really wish there were some way to get a strip down the middle of the torsos, like some 
backpack instead of in grey in different colours because that would have been really nice for both the dark blue on Jean and also the pink on Jubilee. But I have gone with the snake torso which is blue and yellow but I really would love the yellow to be on the outside rather than the grey. Nonetheless, it does work quite well. Of course, Jean has some telekinetic powers which are very hard to represent in Lego, so I have decided to go with nothing. Rogue was already flying. I didn't want to take that away from her, so Jean is just Jean, which is the complete opposite to how she is in the X-Men universe. Of course, being Dark Phoenix, Marvel Girl, and everything else she takes on now i'm gonna save the most cursed for last and bring out beast first there's not really much way to represent beast without using his actual minifigure i didn't actually pick up the marvel cmf beast and i'm definitely regretting it so i'm gonna have to pick him up at some point soon and probably order all of these pieces to keep these built in my collection but we had to use the wolverine hair it's only the color change to blue that it's missing the only blue head I have is actually from my custom Thrawn. This was picked up off the build a minifigure station in Lego stores. And to represent Beast's blue body, we've just given him blue body, blue legs and no printing detail. Because there's nothing that represents Beast. So we've just made him fully blue. And now last but not, well actually this time it is least. The minifigure you've all been waiting for. Wolverine this is the most cursed minifigure I have made let me know what you think about it down in the comments but I'm pretty sure none of my custom minifigures none of the custom minifigures I've seen even come close to being as cursed as this we've used a head from I think this is from one of the Lone Ranger minifigures now that I'm looking at it we've then got this black hair piece which Again, like Storm, looks nothing like the hairpiece, but is the only black hairpiece I could find that comes out to the side and somewhat represents the Wolverine hair. We've then got Porky Pig's to Actually, this isn't Porky Pig's torso. This is the female pig from Looney Tunes. I don't really know her name, but that has given us the yellow torso with the shorter sleeves. Not in blue this time and not much detail, but at least we do have something coming over his shoulder like the detail on the proper wolverine torso we've then given him some yellow legs and a blue belt which just shows off the blue at the top of the wolverine legs and of course the wolverine claws which if you don't have a wolverine minifigure you can get them from halloween displays and so many other sets they use so i think they pass there are another type of claw piece that i don't own that you could also use as wolverine claws but I'm pretty sure they'd be more expensive, so you might as well just go with the typical claw pieces. I guess these are more whisker pieces, as we're not allowed to use the Wolverine claws, so I have used these alternate pieces. And that is the final X-Men minifigure for the team. Now, comparing it to LEGO, there's only a few that really stand out as quite decent minifigures. I think Bishop isn't too bad. I really like the custom morph, and gambit as i said he's my favorite perhaps even rogue will hold up but let me know which minifigures you like and dislike in the comments and may the bricks be with you always